Hi guys, my name is Leher Khan and I'm going to be your guest host for the Day on Voracious podcast. And uh, I'm really excited about this. I I I mean, I think that I'm over here because I'm that kind of person who if you just ask me talk, they talk. And I think my reply to that's not going to be like what or just shut up, you know. It's not going to be that. I think it's going to be more like okay, I have 10,000 topics in my head, which one to choose for this particular situation, you know. And then I go with my usual, which is um world is dying you know it is <laughs> it really is that's the sad part but you know i'm i mean talking of the world dying how's lockdown i mean i mean okay i i mean i i i can ask this question from you guys but you guys can't answer but i assume that you guys going to ask me back that how's your lockdown and now i'll just continue uh <laughs> uh my lockdown i think my lockdown has been really difficult i mean i think like everyone hopefully or not hopefully actually <laughs> uh <laughs> my lockdown has been pretty difficult i think uh, it's also because it has like graphs like it it had a graph which is not normal but you know all although the entire graph was in extremes it was like tsh, 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 you know and i mean that was something that was a i mean that that's just been more like a roller coaster and i think that's also because for me it wasn't that uh you know staying at home is a difficult thing you know all of a sudden it happened and everybody was just so done with being at home i am that person who was just born and brought up in a family which is like i mean i'm just the most i think i'll be like the most pampered kid at least around the people i know and because of that my parents have kept me home most of the time so that's the reason when being at home or staying at home in this lockdown wasn't the difficult part for me i think the difficult part was the emotional and mental breakdown that you know followed later on because there was there was a lot happening i mean i think all the oldies in the house were proven <laughs> right i mean all the holdi- oldies in the house uh you know all our uh, nanu nani and dadu dadi and everybody have been like always saying this thing that you know in you know bolte na ki bure time pe actual you know it's like the sachai comes out you know the bure time pe you get to know how the person really is i think it's the lockdown that has proved that to everybody that you know yeah i mean that's true like they were right all this way <laughs> you know i mean lockdown has been like uh, the, like you know you've lost so many friends and then you have i mean then people have made friends you know with me it was more like i've lost friends i didn't make new ones and i don't want to have no will to do that right now because it's just that people have just come across to be such uh you know i don't know i actually it's not even about blaming anybody but it's more about they just been so weird and uh friendships have gotten affected in this relationships of people have gotten affected in this and it's it's kind of been really sad you know and it's been a place where everybody's kind of done and it's it's such a psychological place to be in you know because psychologically you really don't even understand that there are there are so, so many things which are like so minute or like they don't really hold any sort of thing inside of you but just because of the entire situation you don't know how you're going to react to it and you know that happened to so many people because of which a lot of things have happened you know so i mean yeah and i mean of course there are a lot of people in this difficult time have shown their true colors as well and i think it's a great thing that they have because i mean the people who never knew that that's how they are is something like um, you know parda fash ho gaya and you know i mean and then like the major relationship of this lockdown i mean i have been in continuous uh, on and off with my special relationship in this lockdown with social media i mean i have not i have broken up and patched up with social media so many times that i can't even explain that i've been off it and all like on off on off like every two days five days this the moment any sort of negativity hits i just go like i'm not going to be on you i just hate you i'm going to i'm going to take a break you know i've taken so much of break from social media and the relationship that i have with social media is a really toxic relationship if i really talk like that about social media it's true it's 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 a very toxic relationship that like you know at least i feel like i am in and you know i i want to get away from it but it's just there it's just not me leaving me alone and i mean i mean but genuinely you know on a, even on a very serious note i mean social media is a place where people have been having a lot of 
I mean, it's a place, of course. I mean, when it came out, and I always thought in a positive way that you know, it's it's a platform for a lot of people to be able to showcase their talent and you know, get people to talk about and you know, get to know about them. But I realized one thing that you know, it's not. It's not. It's not like that. I'm so glad that I watched this film called Social Dilemma. I'm so happy that I watched it, and I realized that. You know the mindset of bringing it out wasn't ever about being like you know oh we are getting a platform where people can come out and it's it's just always been so attacking about the fact that it has to get like it has to get people addicted to it you know and now there's a time where even I realize I have realized this thing that this is what I know all of these things but still it's so hard to leave I mean I've tried doing that but then I just it's it's just it's it just emotionally blackmails me and gets me back into the relationship dude i can't leave it you know <laughs> i mean it's genuinely like that it's 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 so difficult to be away from it and yet by being on it you get so negative there is so much that is getting mis like you know misinterpreted by people and there is so much of rumors in news that is not right and like i know it's a, it's a great platform probably to voice yourself up to connect with people who are of the similar you know who think in a similar way but in the same way the same thing can be utilized in completely you know wrong way you know how media how social media nowadays is kind of influencing a lot of people and because of that influence there is a lot of you know like there's there's this misconception about so many things that is coming out and i don't know i mean how like i know that all of this and this conversation is getting really serious but that's true it is true and you know the problem is that people are really running away from facing the truth they are really run, running away from you know genuinely like keeping the truth in front of them and you know trying to change rather than trying to change it their major thing is to run away from it right now like that's how it is you know you 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 have something happy or you have something happening of course i know i know the entire situation of lockdown is so depressing and so sad for so many people and it's so it's so like you know it's so suffocating for a lot of people but at the same time it doesn't mean that you completely start ignoring things or you just feel like that you know just show me something good i don't want to know anything bad because there's something and there's so much that is going out which is not right like we this this there, there are so many lives that we we don't know you know the things are happening and nobody's really trying to voice about it there are people who are trying to voice about it or you know share their stories about it but it's just a cycle you know it's it's just a cycle that continues we keep forgetting about it we we there there, there comes a new event one day we share things about it and then comes the next day and something some some other event comes on and we forget about the event that happened a day before that because the problem is that we are treating these things as events we are not working on them to make them right we are not working or focusing on them to you know just feel like that nahi isko sahi kar kar hi chhodenge nahi ho raha you know we 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 start voicing ourselves up to you know like kind of make it right and then we let it go we don't want to be that negative about it we don't want to have negative energy around that us so much that we just let it go and there comes another thing and there comes another thing because there's something or the other thing happening every single day you know and it is the sad part i mean it is a sad part that there time there comes a time when you know there are people who have a complete misconception about feminism and yet they are talking about whatever conception they have in their head and and the worst part is that there is a lot of majority that is still you know following what they are saying they are still agreeing to them it's it's a sad reality but we still live in a country we still live somewhere where people after even after being educated even after being privileged enough to get education don't use their brains don't use anything they don't question things they don't they don't try to you know like you know talk about anything or uh, have a conversation have a discussion rather than everybody just blindly without even you know realizing that what is happening they just want to talk they just want to say something but i feel like it's really really important for us to keep our ears open as well to listen out to people to listen out to what really is happening all over 
and i think i think it's the patience that we have lost completely and i think it's the patience because of which there's a lot that is happening around us that we are completely ignoring because we don't have the patience to really listen to it to really understand what the problem is and to really really try to you know make it right and it, it is sad i mean i mean I mean right now when I'm talking so much serious and I'm talking about things that I really feel and I think about on daily basis you know when I right now when I'm talking about it you know there's it's sad it is sad but that's how everything is that there's another part of me which is thinking that it's too serious yaar le you should just make it a little fun you know but I think it's really important for us to talk about things it's really important for people to come out it's really important for people to talk about things they need to really if they are educated they need to really behave like that they need to really question they need to really listen they really need to apply their brains you know and i mean i mean it's it's sad that our youth is also trying to still follow things which which are not right and you know i mean there's so there's so much that is happening around us and everybody gets everybody has a perception everybody has their own perception to look at things but it's really important that there are few things which are definitely wrong and we really need to make changes we really need to make them right you know and it's sad that there are a lot of people who are just scared because it is scary i mean i i remember that there are so many times that i have thought about a lot of things that i want to say or or you know my dad wants to say something he's also pretty much out there like he has a lot to say he has he's read a lot and everything and he has so much to say but it's just it scares me the the situation that is around us right now it's scary it's scary i shall stop him i i tell him not to do that i tell him to just you know probably not do itna you know like itna mat bolo yaar koi nahi thoda bol let it be let it be because it's scary because because it's scary that right now to be very honest every single person is is not really having the right to speech as well i mean it's that time which we have fought years and years back for you know the right to speech for every single person the right to speech for women we have fought for all of these things and we are coming back in that circle to a point where right now everybody is so scared everybody is still so scared to be able to say what they really want to say or what they really want to think what they really think you know and it is a sad reality that we are going back in the circle and not forward you know it's it's just coming back to that place where again we don't know what to say we don't know whether we should say we we are still scared and it is scary it's scary for comedians to be able to joke about things it's scary for actors to be able to say what they want to say it's scary for a lot of people all over the world just because everybody's just so on judging everybody's so on about judging every single step taken by somebody or someone else you know everybody's so conscious about what they're doing and i mean there's nothing wrong in being conscious but we need to have that basic right of speech where we feel like that this is wrong and i i as a as a citizen of this country i'm free to say that i don't like this and and you know in return it's not that i'm going to get a bashing <laughs> you know it's in return it's not that i'm going to be like you know i don't even know what's going to happen with me you know what i mean and i think that is what is sad nowadays and it's it's getting worse and that is what is more scary because it's getting worse day by day and there is there's just not this i mean there's just so much happening i mean it's just sad it just makes me sad every single day when i go through anything not just on news not just and news i mean news channels i've been talking about everything else but the really important things that they probably should talk about i mean i mean i, I don't know why is it like that i don't know what really happened i don't know what is happening yes they are getting completely influenced etc etc but it's sad it's sad to know that in 2020 in in the year 2020 where everything is supposed to go ahead we are we are thinking that we are developing but i think apart from just building huge and huge and bigger and bigger buildings i don't think so there's anything that we are really moving ahead with or developing at all not here not not with the sensitivity of people 
not not with by not by being human like you know having any sort of humanity regarding like each other and it's sad it's getting sadder day by day and i mean the lockdown has been about all of these things throughout you know it started with so many so many so many things going up and down up and down up and down and then there came a time that you know like you got used to the lockdown you got used to what is happening but that's the problem we get used to things we just get used to everything that is happening around that is wrong there was a time when we got used to watching an ad or a lot of different things a lot of different products which used to just promote fairness we got used to them just because now came a time when things became a lot out loud for people is the time that we we think that we need to change or we think that we should change but it was it was being like it's it was going on for a really long time it was going on and we saw it and when we could have changed it we didn't you know so why is everything becoming an event yeah, you know oh an event happened that event happened and now we're going to change that is the sad part and uh, i mean that's how it's been and we just get used to it lockdown is something which is it's it's a historical moment it's, it's i'm sorry it's a historical moment for like the entire entire i mean this like everybody who's who's been experiencing lockdown is it's it's a historical moment to tell the generations that are going to come in coming years but only if we leave anything for them the way we are going is just getting worse day by day and it's sad that it, it is a historic moment this is the first time in the entire world is locked up i'm not saying it's a good thing but it's something that we deserved you know we have done a lot of shit to deserve this and i mean it's just coming to us it's just coming in its own ways and uh, you know and i i i mean i don't even feel like any sort of uh, sympathy towards this because i mean we should have we can be way more sympathetic uh, simple we can be way more sympathetic towards a lot of things that are happening around us that we aren't you know we have lost a lot of sensitivity towards each other we have lost a lot of you know we have lost so much of sensitivity towards each other that that we have just gotten so as i would bolte na you know uh, it's not just we have we've become so as a cold hearted like ta chamdi itna mota ho gaya hai ki kuch bhi hota hai and we feel it for a few days and then it's gone it's really gone and there comes something else and that's how it's been going on we don't realize it but we are getting used to even this you know so yeah i mean not just to talk about things that are happening around but they are they are pretty much alive and they are something that we really need to talk about and we don't talk about and it's sad it's sad that we don't talk about it or we fear talking about it or we just feel like that let's talk about something fun because these are the things that we should we should even talk about you know and uh, lockdown became coming back to lockdown um lockdown became better lockdown became better in last few months or i i'll say last one month and i think it got better only because the entire perception towards what was happening around changed you know like in me i mean i'm just talking about myself <laughs> that in me it changed a lot and it started raising a lot of questions that i feel that i have a problem with you know what's happening around i mean when i could feel that sort of negativity on social media and i could feel that insecurity i could feel about things i mean i mean insecurity is one of the most uh, you know underrated things to talk about that we fear talking about or we run away from because that's just something people are not very open to accept but we need to accept it that there is certain sort of insecurity that we feel inside of us not everybody i mean i was the kind of person who never felt it but i did I did during this lockdown and I think I want to be pretty I want to be pretty open about the fact that I did and I think the negativity about feeling any sort of insecurity around because of the time because of the fact that I want to be productive and I was draining myself in being productive that I didn't realize that there is really no point of that I mean one day I just sat and I be recently only 
and I just realized that you know what's the point of all of this I mean I have been the kind of person all my life even speci specifically as a kid who was not at all competitive like I'm still not at all competitive like there is no aggression there is no competition that I feel I don't feel like that I have to you know it's never been such a competition inside of me ever about anybody and I think I used to always feel like that that's something that's lacking in me. You know, that's the reason why I'm not being able to do anything. But I realized that it's not really that. It's it's not that. I sat right now and I thought about it. And I realized that when I was the kind of person who was pretty sorted in my own head about the fact that I know that I'm different and I'm different and we all are different. When we all are different, then what's the point of running in this race? The, the competition itself becomes so unfair because nobody knows where whosoever is coming from. The way I look at anything is not the way anyone else look, looks at it in the same way. You know, nobody does. I mean, I'm a different person altogether and every single person on this planet is different. And I'm not just talking about the way we look, but it's about the way we think, the way we smell, the way we taste things, what we like, what we don't like. What, what the way I look at things, the way I think about those things, the way I feel about them, everything is so different. Then what is the point? What is the point of feeling that I am in a competition where I have to fight with all these people? It's all in our head. This competition, this competitiveness and aggression is all in our head because that's how we are grown up, right? That's how we are, like, we are told to be the first in class. <clears throat> we are told to be the first in class why everybody can't be first but everybody is different in their own way and that's the problem that's the problem so i realized that okay i've never felt this way and that's a great thing that i already feel like that i don't feel any sort of competition i don't feel anything like that i just feel like what i do is my part whatever everyone else is does anything that is good in that i take it from that i understand it i appreciate it and i like to be honest about it you know and i've gotten so much happier with this thought I mean, this was the part of lockdown that just got way more happier and way more calmer, you know, because I was just like, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, all this while I was thinking that there's something wrong with me. All this while I was thinking that maybe I'm not going to achieve anything in my life just because I'm not aggressive enough. I'm not competing. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not running in this race. I'm, I'm just feeling like I'm chill, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going slow on, you know, I'm just jogging, but I realized I'm happier that way, you know, uh, because I'm, I'm being able to do what I really want to do. And there's nothing that is having any sort of pressure on me about it. Because I don't feel like that there are, if there are 10 other actors or 10 other, like, you know, there are 10 different actors right in front of me. There is no point of me comparing myself with them because my approach towards my work will be completely different from all 10 of them. And all 10 of them will, have, will be completely different from like each other. So, I mean, what's the point of it? I mean, if we understand the entire process of making films, everything is about being like at the right place. Everything fitting in correctly, the puzzle coming all together and making something so beautiful. When I understand that, because I do, when I understand that, then as a person, I cannot crib about things. I cannot be like, uh, you know, like, I not I not you know, that's how it's going to be like. So it's, it's really, it's really sad that people still are just having this sort of, so much of aggression, competition in their head about, you know, eating and eating up anyone else's work, taking it up, you know, like just, just fight with the other person to get it rather than working on their own selves and making themselves better for it, you know. And I think that just, that was one thing that, like, you know, it just stayed with me and I got so happy about the entire thing that, okay, fine, yeah, okay, I can come back to track. And I am. And I feel great about it, you know. All this while, there was just nothing wrong with me. <laughs> it was just people, you know. <laughs> and uh, there was one more thing or one major thing that I really want to share. And that is that there's this one thought that I came up with and I'm so happy about it. It's such a happy, happy thought. That is, it's, I mean, it's not a happy thought because it's going to get a little dark, but uh, the thought is that, you know, nowadays, whenever I do anything, I've made this thing, I've made this thing about anything that I do, you know, to make sure that there's nothing that is above 
feeling anything the relation and connection that you make with each other i don't think so there is i realize that anything that i do in life has to has to be a part of my life it cannot be my entire life no matter what it is no matter how much i love it you know i love my work i love what i do i love it from the like from the bottom of my heart i cannot even explain it i cannot even start about it you know i can't start explaining it how much i love it you know and it's just because it's purely love for that particular art that i have you know there's nothing that i want from it i don't want any sort of anything from it you know i just want to i just want to be giving as much as i can to it and i want to be able to experience be able to you know that that's kind of a fear in me that what if i can or what if i don't get to oh that's a fear so yeah you know it's like that so i love it but it's a part of my life it cannot be my life there's a lot that and that is something that is something that came in me is through this one idea that is that i think before doing anything i just think about the fact that if i get to know that my life's going to end in next two days in next two days in a week what will be the things that i would like to do in those days it can be anything you know and i realize the kind of person that i am i'm very close to the people i make my sort of connections with you know and connections by that i mean my friends my family you know that sort of uh, connection so i realized that for me i think the the only thing that i would like to do is to be around people that i love and spend as much as as much time as possible with them and i realized that it's a very simple thing to do it's a very simple thing to do i just i just closed my eyes and i thought about the fact that if i'm going to die tomorrow or if i'm going to die in next two days something's going to happen you know what is the last thing if i get to know about it, what what's the last thing that i really want to do and i realized that i would love to have a room filled with my friends my my mom and dad with my friends with the people that i'm close to my few relatives you know and people who have been my guardians i mean this this whosoever that i love in my room and i spend that evening with them and i think that's 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 the, the that's all that i want you know and i think that kind of sorted a lot of things for me as a person i just realized that if that is how i am and this is the kind of person that i am then my parents my my relation with my friends and everything does matter to me a lot that is something that is way more important to me because when i'm when i'm at the worst place of my life i think that's what i'm going to remember i don't think so that in last two days i'm just going to be like no give me two more days of work i think that would be the time when i would just like to be around the connections that i've made i love my work it has nothing to do with that but it's just that sort of human connection that you make and that's what i realized that that is something that i am very close to and that's kind of sorted so many things out for me you know i have gotten way more clearer about the kind of person that i am i've gotten way more clearer about you know the things that i give priority to i've gotten way way more clearer about you know just just the entire look towards the things that are happening around the look towards being able to do what you really want to do you know and i think that was just like it was more like a life changing thing that happened to me and i that's the reason why i wanted to share it that i mean it was really really like it was really changing a lot of things it changed a lot in me as a person and i'm really glad that it happened you know and uh, with this i think i i will come to an end to my conversation and all i want to say is that i i enjoyed this entire podcast a lot i i hope that when it comes out you guys enjoy it as well and whatever i've talked about and everything the way like you know the experiences the way i think the way i feel everything and uh, it was great and i'm so happy this happened uh it's really difficult time so i just want to say that you guys stay safe and be happy and do things uh the way you want to do and i mean enjoy it and stay happy and uh you know just be kind and yeah uh, this is fun thank you so much and i hope i'm going to see you guys again